Hello everyone, I am going to be boxing November 26th in my hometown, but before I do that, I am going to be learning all about boxing. It's going to be 8 weeks of training and it's going to be quite an intensive course. I will be challenged with fitness, adrenaline, every single thing in the arsenal, and I put on the gloves the other day and I became a different beast. Now if you wish to donate, you can do it justgiving.com forward slash stardust boxing. It is a great cause and I recommend it. But people have been wondering, Stardust, you don't know a thing about the art of boxing. What are you going to do when you get in that ring and you don't even know what an uppercut is? My friends, I laugh at you. I laugh at your disgusting remarks to me. I couldn't think of a word then, but I thought of one in the end. Because I am very knowledgeable of the world of boxing and I know everything from head to toe and I'm going to prove that today by doing this boxing quiz, boxing quiz, Encyclopedia Britannica. So, first question, start this quiz, let's do this, alright, uh, it's, it's taking some time to load, it's taking some time, this is, this is, yeah, it's not good, it's not a good start, I'm not gonna lie. It finally decided to come up, who among these professional American boxers was the first to win the World Heavyweight Championship three times? Ladies and gentlemen, it is the only boxer on this list that matters, Muhammad Ali, correct, thank you, next question, okay. Who was the first light heavyweight champion to defeat a heavyweight champion? That sounds like it's going to be an Archie Moore situation. Fuck. See, I was going to say Michael Spinks. Okay, just for the name alone, Spinks sounds hilarious. It sounds a bit like Spanks and it sounds a bit like Spunks. Let's move on. Who was known as the Brown Bomber? Now, I actually know this one. It is Joe Louise. Ha ha ha! Let's go. Who claimed to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee? Muhammad Ali, that's right. See, I know my boxing, ladies and gentlemen. I am officially going to become the best YouTube boxer, and in a year's time, you will see me fight Jake Paul and KSI in Madison Square Garden at the same time with only one hand. Who was considered the first heavyweight boxing champion? We're going with Jack Dempsey. We're wrong. Jack Dempsey's a referee, isn't he? Fuck. Oh, well, moving on. Who is recognised as the father of boxing because he invented precursors to modern boxing gloves and developed the first set of boxing rules? I'm going to go with Bill Gretting. Fuck. See, I was going to say Jack Broughton because he brought on the world of boxing. You know what I'm saying? He brought on the rules of boxing. It just makes sense, guys. Use your brains. Who led the movement that came to be called scientific boxing? Is it James Corbett or Bill Science? It makes sense. Why would he be called Bill Science if he didn't invent scientific boxing? Make it make sense. What do you even mean? It's the first African-American to hold the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship. We are going for... Okay, look. 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 Three... Okay, so I've got three out of... How many? Three, six, nine... No. Eight. Okay? Listen. I... I don't need to be knowledgeable in the art of the pro boxer. I just need to be good at scrapping. I'm still going to get the rest of the questions right, though. Who became, in 1986, the youngest person ever to win the heavyweight boxing championship? We are going with... Joe Frazier. Mike Tyson? The fuck? Man, like, he, he's aged so much. I wasn't even born in 1986. What popular bare knuckle fighter was known as the Boston Strong Boy? What it was? Uh, Boston Strong Boy. Uh, Joe Louis. No, I was going to pick John L. Sullivan. That's not fair. Who became in 1994 the oldest man to win the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship? We are going to go with George Foreman. Yeah, I got that one. See, I knew that was the correct one all along. I knew all of these, to be honest. Who was World Heavyweight Champion from 1952 to 1956 when he retired undefeated in 49 fights? We are going with Rocky Marcino. Mar Marcino. Mar <laughs> which Academy Award winning film documents the Rumble in the Jungle in which Muhammad Ali knocked out George Foreman in Kanshasa? Uh, we are going with Cree 2. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> I feel like I feel like a right upset people. <laughs> oh no! What boxing punch consists of an upward blow delivered from the direction of the toes? Uppercut. See, I know what an uppercut is, and that's all I'm going to need to knock out my opponent November 26th. Who was the first European to win the World Heavyweight Boxing title? We need to go with Lennox Lewis. Ah, oh, fuck off, man. Six out of fifteen. You know what? Not bad. Not bad. So who was out of all these? Muhammad Ali, right? So we're gonna... <laughs>
Michael Spinks. There you go. I remember Spinks. Who was known as the Brown Bomber? Ooh. There you go. See, I'm fucking smashing it now. Muhammad Ali, we're getting 100% so far. No, fuck. I did it wrong. All right, fuck this quiz. Basically, guys, what you need to do is you need to go to Stardust Boxing on Just Giving, right? This is going to be the most important thing you do today. As you can see here, justgiving.com forward slash fundraising forward slash Stardust Boxing. And you guys need to start donating because I'm doing the sign up tomorrow and I'm not getting my ass kicked for only 100 quid. But I do appreciate the individual Zero who donated already. Be like Zero. Be sure to donate. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace.